Hi everyone! Welcome back to my 12 Days of Interactive December Dailies video series. I hope you all had a great holiday season. Today is day 8 of my video series and I'm working on story number 16 in my December Daily album. For this layout, I'm creating some origami envelope boxes to document some of the presents that I bought for myself this holiday season as an act of self-love. And I do like to do this each holiday season as well because I just love receiving happy mail and surprises in the mail. To start off, I resized some of the patterns from the In a Creative Bubble Holiday Stitch Notebook to a full 8.5 inch by 11 inch piece of paper. And I printed these out on white printer paper um, instead of my usual white cardstock because the printer paper will make it a lot easier to make all of these folds. Here I cut my page down to eight and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall and this will make an envelope that's about three inches wide by three inches tall. I'm starting off with the pattern side facing down and the first step is to fold the paper in half on the diagonal then unfold it and fold it in half again on the other diagonal, then unfold it again. Next, I'm going to fold this in half lengthwise, then unfold it, then fold it in half lengthwise the other way, then unfold it again. After that, I'm going to use the vertical and horizontal lines that I just created to fold each of these four corners towards the center so that all the four points meet up in the middle. Just going to mention as well that because this process video is a bit different, I am going to keep most of the origami folding um, at real time so that you can feel free to slow down and walk through these steps yourself um, along with me um, and speed up when you feel more comfortable with it. Then I'm going to keep this in the folded position and take each edge and fold that towards the center line, then unfold it. And I'm going to repeat this on all four sides. Once that's done, I'm going to unfold one of these four flaps, then fold it closed along one of those horizontal crease marks that I just created, so that instead of meeting at the center, my triangle piece is touching the top most edge of my piece here. After that, you'll notice that there's a little triangular fold on the bottom left and right sides of this piece, and I'm going to push those triangular folds up and flatten them down. And I'm doing that on both the left and right sides so that I end up with two small triangles that are touching each other. Next, I'm going to take that triangular flap and fold it back down towards me, folding along that horizontal line that those two small triangles created. And I'm going to flip this around and repeat that on the other side as well. So here, I'm unfolding that triangular piece and folding it closed along that horizontal crease mark so that it's touching the tip of that other large triangular flap. Then I'm going to push in those two triangular folds on the bottom left and right sides and flatten them down. Then I'm folding that triangular flap back down towards me along that horizontal line. And you'll see when you pull these two flaps apart that you kind of end up with a box. So this is the part that I found to be the most difficult step, um, but I'm just going to take the two rims of the box and push them inwards so that the two sides flatten inwards towards the center of the box instead of outwards. And the easiest way I found to do that is to just carefully guide your fingers along the center part of that rim towards each of the outer two corners of the box. And the fold lines should already be there um, and you're just training the paper into place.
I also like to run my bolden folder along all of those crease marks at this point to make sure that everything stays in place before moving on. Next, I'm going to unfold one of these large triangular flaps and fold the tip of this triangle down so that it's touching the center where these two tips um, of the triangles also meet up. Then I'm going to fold the corner of this white section here towards that center point and repeat that same step for the other corner of this white section and fold that triangular flap back down towards that horizontal line. And you'll see that that just creates a smaller triangle for your flap. So I'm going to turn this around and repeat that on the other side as well. Just folding these two corners down to create a smaller triangle flap. And once you fold your flap back down, you have a completed envelope box. So I've gone ahead and made four more envelope boxes using the same steps. And I've printed out four photos and one journaling card at two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And that's just the right size to fit comfortably into these three by three inch boxes. And these are some pictures of um, some of the happy mail that I got for myself. And I also punched out a two inch circle of the packaging from all of these goodies and backed them on to some patterned paper to include in my envelope boxes as well. So just adhering these photos into the boxes with my Tombow Mono permanent adhesive tea printer. And I'm going to leave the two inch circles loose so that I can take them in and out of the boxes to look at the photos. After that, I want to be able to keep these envelopes closed with some twine. So I'm just poking a hole about half an inch in from the tips of each of these flaps. I'm centering my twine on the bottom of these envelopes and securing it down to the bottom with some score tape. Then threading the twine up through each of those flaps and tying a bow in the center to hold the envelope shut. And I'm going to repeat the process for my next envelope before realizing that I actually need all the envelo envelopes to be open while I'm gluing these down to my base page because I don't want to accidentally glue them onto the page with the photos upside down. So I'm taking this off screen to finish up. And once I'm back, I have all of my envelopes tied up and adhered down to my base page. I decided to use some craft card stock this time as my base page um, to give it a bit of contrast because the back of the pattern paper, um, which is just white, does show on those flaps. And it just provides a nice contrast between the pattern paper and the white and the craft card stock. I'm going to add the title Self Love with the white glitter alpha stickers from the December Daily Collection. For the left side of my page, I'm working on the back of a four by two grid of two inch squares. Um, and that was for story 15, which was documenting my December music playlist. And I do have photos of that spread up on my Instagram if you'd like to check that out as well. I backed the grids with the digital paper from the Star 3x8 album that's available on the Ali Edwards shop. And as usual, I'm going to add my wood veneer number onto a plastic heart before adding that to my page. Last but not least, I added some red glitter heart stickers around my title as well, just to fill up that extra space around the title. And that completes my layout for today. I love how this layout turned out. I just had so much fun unboxing all of the, this Happy Mail when I received them, and I thought it would be fun to unbox each of these little envelopes as well to discover what's in each package every time I look back on my December Daily album. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more December daily inspiration. Thanks so much for watching!